Good morning, this is Mr. Bloom with today's lesson. Got some figures here that look like kind of donuts. This first one, I got kind of a square donut. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a, the area of the larger square and subtract this inside missing area as it's like it's a hole, it's like a square donut hole. To do my area, the area of my square is equal to 25, that side squared. Well, 25 squared is 625. My green square here is nine by nine. So the area of my green square is gonna be nine squared, and this is equal to 81. Well, when I figure out the difference between here, 625, subtract 81, this is gonna equal 544. Now let's look at our units. Well, this is centimeters times centimeters, so that is centimeters squared. Next one. We've got a triangle here. My area of a triangle is one half base times height. I'm going to take a, the area of a big triangle and then subtract this missing green triangle portion. So I'm going to take the area of the purple triangle and subtract the area of the green triangle for my shaded portion for the total area that's left. That's going to leave my total triangular portion. So let's do that. So the area of the purple triangle is going to be one half. My base is 31.2 times my height of 33.9. And when I multiply that out, I get uh, that's 1057. 0.68. Well, half of 1057.68 is equal to uh, 528.84. I'm just going to leave that where it is. So that's my big triangle, my big purple triangle. Now let's, let's figure out what the area of my green triangle is. So one half, my base here is 16.1. My height is 17.5. When I multiply this out, well, that is uh, 281.75, okay? When I take half of that, I get 140.875. So my answer is I need to subtract these two. So I take 528.84, Subtract 140.875, and I get 387.965, which I'm going to round to the nearest ones, but this is going to round to uh, 388 feet squared. All right, let's do the next one. This one, well, they're not giving us any radius. And so we have to figure out radius. And I'm given diameter, and so half my diameter here is gonna be radius. So if I take half of 39, I get 19.5, and that's inches. So if that's 19.5, I need to figure out my, 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 my big radius from the center. These two circles share the same center. So, but, so I, got, I can add this, so the big radius here is gonna be a 19.5 plus 16.8, uh, which equals uh, 36.3 inches. So this right here is 36.3 inches. So now I can figure out my area of my big circle. So area of the big circle is equal to pi times 36.3 squared. So when I square 36.3, I get uh, 1,317.69. I'm just gonna leave this answer in terms of pi. Okay, so that's my total answer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the final answer in terms of pi. So now I gotta figure out this inside circle donut hole that's missing. So the inside circle 
is going to be pi. My radius is 19.5 squared. And so when I do this, um, this is 380.25 pi. That's my inside area. So for my solution here, I need to subtract the difference. So I have 1317.69 pi, and I'm subtracting 380.25 pi. When I do that, my answer here is going to be 937.44 pi, and that is your final answer. We got one more here. This one, this little little curveball here, where they they haven't given us our radius. They've given us the circumference, and that circumference is my c. So I'm just going to plug this in and try to solve for my radius. So 81.64 kilometers equals 2 times pi r. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get r all by itself. First thing I'm going to do, I'm multiplying by 2, so I'm going to divide by 2. These cancel, and 81.64 divided by 2 is 40 0.82, and that's equal to pi times r. Well, I'm going to substitute in for pi. I'm going to substitute in 3.14. That's what I'm going to use. So 3.14 times r. So I'm solving for r, so I'm going to divide by 3.14. Divide by 3.14. Well, this divided gives r as 13 kilometers. That is my my radius right here. This is 13 kilometers. So I know my radius. Now to figure out the big circle radius, I've got to add this outside measure of 17. So 13 plus 17 is 30 kilometers. Again, I'm going to just figure out the area in terms of pi. And then I'm going to, that's going to be my final answer. So <clears throat> the area of the big circle is going to be pi r squared. My r is 30. And so 30 squared is 900 pi. I'm just going to do that in terms of pi. My inside area with radius 13 is going to be pi times 13 squared which is going to equal to 169 pi. So now for solving this, i got to subtract this. So I'm also going to take the big number and subtract the smaller number, because there's no such thing as negative area. So when I do this, when I subtract this, my answer is 731 pi. All right, Panthers, you guys have a good day.